the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 63, Deuteronomy 12 to 14. If too far, pay with money. Again, teaching the laws of God to the manor generation who was soon to enter Canaan, Moses specifically taught the way of life as a holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. First point, an offering must be made in the place God chose to put his name for his dwelling. At the time, Canaan was a land full of idol worshippers. The Israel people were commanded to distinguish themselves from these people and to not become a part of their culture. When they made an offering, it was crucial that they went to the place God chose to put his name for his dwelling. This was the law. God emphasized that they had to be in this location in Deuteronomy chapter 12. God emphasized this four times in Deuteronomy chapter 12 alone. This was important as it was here that the people were to learn about God. If the people making the offering lived too far from the place, he chose to put his name for his dwelling. God told the people through Moses that they were to take money worth and offer tithes. But if that place is too distant and you have been blessed by the Lord your God and cannot carry your tithe because the place where the Lord will choose to put his name is so far away, then exchange your tithe for silver, and take the silver with you and go to the place the Lord your God will choose. Use the silver to buy whatever you like, cattle, sheep, wine, or other permanent drink, or anything you wish. Then you and your household shall eat there in the presence of the Lord your God and rejoice. This was a way to make it easier for the person making the offering. Second point, the fall of North Israel in 8th century BC has deep connections with the place that chose to put his name for his dwelling. The place to make an offering changed from the 500-year moving tabernacle to the place God chose to put his name for his dwelling. With the construction of the Jerusalem temple, God's presence resided in Jerusalem for 1,000 years. This meant that even when the Israel nation was divided in half, they still had to go to this place three times a year to make an offering. But after the death of Solomon, Jeroboam changed the laws of God. Instead of making the man go to the designated place three times a year, Jeroboam designated a new place and completely changed the system of a kingdom of priests. Thus, Jeroboam became the opposite of David in founding the most terrible path for the nation. Third point, the person making the offering must share the joy with the Levites and also their family. According to the laws in the kingdom of priests, the person making an offering to God had to bear in mind three points. The first was to include the family. The second was to include the slaves. The third was to include the Levites who were scattered among them. The Levites were not given any land. Instead, their roles were to live among other tribes and help them make the five offerings and earn an income from doing so. 
Fourth point, one had to always be cautious of false prophets and enemies. Through Moses, God warned the people about false prophets. On this matter, God said the following, You must not listen to the words of that prophet or dreamer. The Lord your God is testing you to find out whether you love him with all your heart and with all your soul. Fifth point, offering tithe is the way to live a blessed life. Tithe, which started with Abraham, now became the laws in the kingdom of priestess. Be sure to set aside a tenth of all that your fields produce each year. At the end of every three years, bring all the tithe of that year's produce and store it in your towns so that the Levites, who have no allotment or inheritance of their own, and the foreigners, the fatherless and the widows who live in your towns may come and eat and be satisfied, and so that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. God decided two purposes for tithe. The first was to give to the Levites as their living cost. The second was to use the remaining sum for celebratory occasions, as well as towards the gathering three times a year when the man went to the Ark of Covenant. Tithe was a way to express great pleas to God for his blessing. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.